The second step in shooting a basketball is eyes on the target. Great shooters have great visual concentration. Every time I shoot the basketball, whether I make it or whether I miss, I have my eyes on the target. Now, I shoot the basketball for right over the front of the rim. You can shoot the ball for the front of the rim, or you can shoot the ball for the back of the rim. But the key here is my eyes do not follow the ball. I'm always at the highest peak of concentration, the basket. Now, great hitters of the baseball and great shooters of the basketball have great visual concentration. As I travel through the country doing clinics, I teach players. Ladies and gentlemen, when you put the basketball in your hands, you have to have great vision with your eyes if you want to make that play, and you have to have discipline with the basketball. I can't let that basketball be thrown all over the lot. So what we're saying right here is, how many times you've seen a professional, an outstanding college player come down, be looking across court, all of a sudden just throw a ball. How does he do that? Peripheral vision. Great vision with the eyes. How do I start? In basketball, when you shoot the basketball, your target is the rim. When you're passing the basketball, I'd like to teach players that the shoulders to the waist is my target in passing the basketball. You notice, when I catch the basketball and I receive a pass, I'm right now in the time zone. I am in what I call the go position. From here, I can pass the basketball, I can dribble the basketball, and I can shoot the basketball. Coaches call this the triple threat position. When I pass it, I look the ball right into my hands, I transfer my vision immediately to the basket. A good drill to help your eye concentration as you're working with a player. I'm making a chest pass, then all of a sudden, I transfer my eyes to the basket, yet still catch the basketball. Tremendous eye concentration on the target and in the receiving area. So now I'm going to have a catch with Todd. Watch my eyes. I'm looking directly at Todd's chest, throwing a two-hand chest pass. Then I'm going to take my eyes and look at the basket. Now I'm looking at the basket, and I'm still catching the basketball. Now I'm going to look off. I'm catching the basketball. Yeah, I can still see. I can still see. Why? Because I have peripheral vision. I'm learning. Now listen to this. The better your eyes are, say that again, George. The better your eyes are, the smaller the basketball court becomes. When I learn to extend my vision, coaches refer to it as peripheral vision. We talk about court awareness. When I can extend my vision, the court becomes smaller. What do I mean by that? If I'm here, and Todd has a basketball, and I don't have to turn my head to see Todd and the ball. I can open up on defense. I can shut down passing lanes. I can react and still be what I say, looking like I'm not even paying attention to the basketball. Great vision, eyes on the target, great balance, one foot in front of the other. Skills that can be learned. Skills that can be repeated once you understand it. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Okay, third step. The most important thing that I'll say today in regards to shooting a basketball. The elbow keeps the basketball straight. The elbow should be underneath the basketball. When you lift the basketball, the elbow is pointing towards the basket and it keeps the basketball straight. Now, I'm going to prove this to you. You've got to be able to teach yourself. That's called self-knowledge and self-instruction. The most important coach you'll ever be in front of is yourself. If you understand it, then you can go over it all the time.